This is a video pertaining to how to fix your problem with your Hewlett Packard NV5052 all-in-one printer whereby you cannot print or scan and I will give you the solution right now. Here is how you can potentially fix this problemo. What you're going to want to do is power off your printer, then you will disconnect the power cable from the wall outlet. If your printer is connected to your computer with a universal serial bus cable, you will disconnect the universal serial bus printer cable from both the back of the printer and your computer. Then you will press and hold the power button on your printer for 30 to 60 seconds. I recommend a minute. Then you will want to leave your printer disconnected from power for 5 to 10 minutes. Then you will reconnect the universal serial bus cable and power cable to the wall outlet. And obviously you're going to reconnect the universal serial bus cable to both the back of your printer and your computer. Now you're going to power on your Hewlett Packard NV5052 printer and see if it will print and scan properly. All right? Hopefully it will. If it does not, you can follow these instructions. Now this is going to require that you perform some tasks on Microsoft operating system, Microsoft Windows. As this individual had Microsoft Windows operating system. So on Microsoft Windows operating system, browse to programs and features and then you're going to remove your Hewlett Packard NV5002 printer from programs and features. Then you're going to remove your Hewlett Packard 5052 printer from devices and printers. Then in a command prompt or a run box, so you can either open up a command box on Microsoft Windows operating system or you can type this into a run box. You know what I'm saying? You're going to type in this command P-R-I-N-T-U-I space forward slash S space forward slash T the letter T the number 2. Print UI stands for printer user interface. Print UI space forward slash the letter S space forward slash the letter T and the number 2. Hit enter now, well, yeah, you would just hit OK when if you're going to use the, you know, run box. The run box is you hit the Windows operating system start menu button and then look for a run box. Or at a command prompt, you would hit enter. Now, a window will open up and you're going to want to select your Hewlett Packard NV5052 printer. And then you're going to choose remove. Then you're going to select Remove Driver and Driver Package. Then you're going to click on or choose OK. Then you're going to click on or choose Yes. Finally, you're going to click on Delete. Now, let me give you my lecture. Microcrap Microsoft Windblows Operating System has major problems. There could be a scenario where you may receive an error you may receive an access denied or some other error message and it will not allow you to remove that driver. What you can do is you can restart your Microsoft Windows operating system into safe mode and try it again. If you receive an error, access denied or whatever error, it just won't let you delete that driver, the man manually delete the printer driver. Then you can Oh, I, I already told you. Yeah, well, you could have restarted. You could have restarted and tried in normal mode. If, if a restart does and will not allow you to remove the printer driver, then try booting into Windows Safe Mode and try to delete manually the printer driver. So on Microsoft Windows, this is a very common problemo. The drivers become corrupt. That's just that's just the way it is. 
And it does not matter if you try to reinstall the operating system, whether you have a compact disc that came with the printer. Although it does Hewlett Packard, they might not even ship discs anymore. That's how cheap and stingy some of these corporations are. I mean, I digress back to this video. And, and that is kind of true to me. They're, they're getting cheap and stingy. Anyways, even if you download the software again, which I'm going to get to. So if you just hold the phone, give me, you know, be patient. I will show you how to reinstall the driver from Hewlett Packard's website. However, my point is that you have to remove the driver manually, the printer driver. It comes corrupt. It just, I don't know, you know, it becomes corrupt. You can try to reinstall it on top of itself, whether it's a download or the comp off the optical drive disk does not matter you have to follow my instructions you have to use the printer user interface and and force it and remove the driver itself manually otherwise it's a quagmire and it's just an endless loop circular logic okay now I'm going to describe how to download and then reinstall the printer software because that's what you're gonna do as long as you were able to successfully remove the driver with using my instructions then your final step is to reinstall the driver and software. If you have a optical disc, a compact disc, a well, it's I don't I do not like acronyms. CD-ROM is an acronym for compact disc read-only memory. You know the little discs that have been around for decades now. If you were given one with the printer, I do not know. I haven't unboxed a printer in I don't know decades or hundred years I mean <laughs> no I, I've done performed a lot of information technology work and some of that is grunt work and some of the grunt work is you have to unbox printers whether they're you know a cheap well I shouldn't well whatever a cheaper inkjet or big huge commercial ten thousand dollar printers I do not know if they ship with discs anymore they probably do not but I can't tell you for a fact that could be the easiest way even though it's old it'll install the software and then I would here's a, a tip you, you don't have to no no no. I'm not telling you what to do I'm just as a computer technician you might want to just install all the software now I know there's a lot of bloatware if you don't want any of the printer bloatware that don't if you are new to printers or, or the you know a beginner you may want to just install everything that may save some time and grief later if you have more experience and with when you know operating systems and drivers and printers just go ahead and, and install the basic driver and then later on you can install the scanning tool or any of the other software but for but an average computer user with my experiences it's better just to have them install everything because you never know. You never know. that the, uh, One problem that I could already foresee is they go to scan and they cannot scan because the printer scan tool is not installed. And then they yell at you and they blame you for everything. Okay, let's move along from that. So on screen, I'm going to show you this website so this is the web page for the Hewlett Packard NV5052 all-in-one printer that you've been looking at this entire time possibly now you notice there is a tab if you scroll down a little bit software drivers and firmware Click on that now this website will automatically detect your operating system so since I'm using Linux and Hewlett Packard doesn't really support Linux it's you're going to see the screen we were unable however if you're using windows or macintosh unless it's really old operating systems this website should automatically detect and i will show you what it will look like so i'll just give you an example what i'm going to do is i'm going to choose a different operating system and then i'm going to choose windows i think my encoder should capture this and then i'm just going to choose windows 10 64 and then I'm going to click on change. Now, again, if you're using a newer Apple Macintosh, I'll, I'll give this tip too, operating system or Microsoft Windows operating system, you should not see that screen where it says we were unable to detect your operating system. It should take you to this page right here. 
All right, as you can see, software and drivers for Hewlett Packard NV5052 all in one printer, and you have some choices here. This is where I recommend just to go ahead and install the Hewlett Packard Smart application for a complete setup and support. Now, the Hewlett Packard Smart application will basically install everything for you. It'll install the printer driver, it will install a scanner driver, it will install a scanner tool, the software that allows you to scan, you know, fax, everything. It'll install all the software. That's what I recommend. However, if, if you do not want the bloatware and you, you know, installed software before on drivers, then you can go ahead down here and look for this. There's the installation software and full basic driver supports print. That That's another option. It's the Easy Start Printer Setup, which is basic, but you could also use the Hewlett Packard Smart application. Or, if you just want just the driver, let's see right here. Now, well, this is the, yeah, I think this is the, well, that's quite large. HP NV5000 all-in-one print and scanner driver. Oh, no, no, that has accessories. Oh, my bad. You know what? Let's close all these. Now, I recommend that you use the Hewlett Packard Smart. That's a lot easier. But you could also use the Hewlett Packard Easy Start Printer Setup software. It's a smaller download. Okay, now up here would be all drivers. Whoops. I'm trying to find just their drivers. Maybe they don't even allow. Interesting. Wow, they may not allow you anymore. Or maybe it's the operating system. Okay, well, I, this is it. That That's, you know, this, that's my video, but this is overtime now. I'm just kind of curious. Let's see. Maybe I should choose a different operating system because I am pretty sure Hewlett Packard allowed you to install, like, just the printer driver and maybe just a scanner driver, and that was it. So let me choose a different operating system. This time I will choose Microsoft Windows 11. I'll click Change. And then, let's see, Diagnostic Tool, Driver, Product, Installation. They may have changed their website. You know what I'm saying? Now, so the Hewlett Packard Smart Application includes print, scan, latest features, and solutions. And then, that's just a diagnostic tool. And then, they have the Driver, Product, Installation software, which is huge. It's 130. 3.9 megabytes. It's an all-in-one scan, full driver solution. Hewlett Packard NV5000 all-in-one print and scan. That's going to have a lot of other software. Well, it doesn't look like you can. It could also be the printer. You know what I'm saying? That is my video showing you how to potentially fix your problem where you cannot print and or scan on your Hewlett Packard NV5052 printer all in one. Adios.